What's up guys, Rogue Budger here with Unashamed Gaming, bringing you another Modern Warfare Remastered game today. It's going to be a search and destroy game from Team Tactical. I was playing with my buddy Josh, he's seen on the channel before. Um, going to be a rough start to this video, but a little bit better ending, uh, so stick around for that. What I want to talk about today, though, is lies in Call of Duty. And what I mean by that is... The Call of Duty community, uh, the consumers, the, the the fans, the people who buy the game, the community of Call of Duty is unique in that we are a community that continues to give our support to a company that continues to lie to us. Um, and that is ridiculous. I there There have been several big lies um, in recent Call of Duty history and I'm worried about the future um, and what they may mean. Now let me recap and explain what I mean. A little bit. We, I don't know whether or not exactly it's Activision or the specific developers via sl be it Sledgehammer, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, whoever, that lies to us, um, but we have been lied to. One notable one, um, when Black Ops 3 came out, it was released that there would be supply drops, but they would only contain cosmetic items. Shortly after the game's release, not shortly, about halfway through, um, we got our first weapons, and now they have added many, many, many supply drop weapons to Black Ops 3. Weapons that are good, better than most of the regular weapons in their class, and essentially made Call of Duty just like Infinite Warfare when it comes to weapons. Or Advanced Warfare, I should say. Infinite Warfare, again, weapon variants. Um, more in the Advanced Warfare-esque style than anything. Um, but they just didn't necessarily break any promises, they just made a terrible game. But that was one straight-up lie that was given to us. Another, and more recent lie, is that... Modern Warfare Remastered would not, under any circumstances, be released as a standalone game. You would have had to buy the game with the bundle of Infinite Warfare at the game's release. And we now know that, that is not the case, as it has been announced, that Modern Warfare Remastered will be available for $40 as a standalone game. Now, granted, I don't really think they're going to sell a whole lot, because they already have... Um, Everybody who was interested in the game probably already has it from buying the bundle. So I don't think anybody's really going to go spend 40 bucks on this game. Because, um, again, if they were interested in it, they'd probably already have it. But I'm sure they'll sell, sell plenty of copies. Um, but that was, again, a very blunt and blatant lie on the behalf of... I'm going to say Activision. I really think Activision is probably to blame for this. Because we don't have... Um, and at the same time, going back to the supply drop thing, supply drop weapons, they have been put into Modern Warfare Remastered as well. Therefore, it's not really a remastered version of the same game. It's basically the same maps with the same perks, but with new guns added in. Um, it's not not what the game, a remastered game should be. Um, not to mention the fact that they've changed things about the game as far as time to kill and things like that goes. But I wouldn't call those so much lies as discrepancies. But that being said, I really think it's Activision that's lying to us because they do have uh, control over things like supply drops. And it's all just a money grab. Call of Duty has turned into a big money grab. And the community continues to support it because of the core of Call of Duty. What Call of Duty is at its core is a good game. There's nothing really quite like it. Um, and that's that faithful core of... of fans is what continues to drive Call of Duty, but at the same time, we are continuously, and more recently, more blatantly put down by Activision. Um, and this just draws some concerns to me moving forward, because I don't know how that's going to play into World War II. They haven't really announced anything about supply drops, but I'm sure they will be in the game, um, because again, Activision is primarily and mainly concerned with money and supply drops are probably the best way for Activision to make that money. Um, 
So I'm sure they will be in World War II. Will they be cosmetic or will they contain guns? I don't know. I think it has been proven that the gun supply drops make Activision more money again because people buy them so they can get those better weapons. And I, I'm guessing if the trend continues, that will be what we see, which is, I think, one of the most game-breaking things to come to Call of Duty is supply drops. Um, after advanced movements, of course. But World War II, of course, not having advanced movements, um, I think the supply drops will be pretty game-breaking. But that is really just my opinion. I don't uh, necessarily know that, but I would like to see no supply drops. Um, but I kind of think they'll be there. So this is my, my thoughts, guys, on how we are lied to and if it will continue. I'd love to hear your opinions, your thoughts. Are we lied to? Am I wrong? Are, are there some lies that I missed? Um, did they specifically say this would or would not happen and then it did or didn't happen? Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. So let me know what you think. Um, and enjoy this final round here of the 3-1 comeback victory. I, I get a pretty nice little three-piece here at the end to close it out. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. God bless.